Welcome back to the Coach Charlie Bailey Show, Coach. <laughs> I'm still nervous from the game. I'm just numb. I'm so excited. 10 to 3 over Alabama got to be a tremendous victory for the team. And, and as we said, the defense came through time and time. But the offense uh, capitalized on some of those mistakes that Alabama made. Yeah, they sure did. Wayne Pryor ran well at 100 and I think 12 yards, something like that. And, and Gerald White ran well. And our offensive line up front just did a tremendous job blocking also. They did a great job, and the receivers did a good job. I just, you know, the whole, the entire football team, and Johnny Butler kicking those two field goals. Oh, yeah. And, you know, he's done that all year long. He, he's, he's so straight with those uh, field goals. I yes, mean, you know, he missed the one. He got his head down a little bit. But, you know, once again, that's part of football. You can't make them all. You can't, you know, nobody's perfect. I sure. You know, he talks about he's so nervous on the inside when he's getting ready to kick and everything. But you sure can't tell it when he walks up there and with that bare foot and hits that ball. No, because there's a lot of pressure. They really, you know, on a young kicker. You know, any time he goes out there uh, to kick, you know, he's always, uh, you know, got a chance to either win the football game or, or lose it. Well, we've got the uh, tape going now. We'll check and see the action. Alabama's got the ball here. Yeah, I tell you, it was a you know, great afternoon for football. Beautiful. And uh, college football, I think, is meant to be played in the afternoon. Here's Carlos Hollowell. Look at him coming from backside, coming across there, making a great play there on a third, uh, third down situation. Here's Kenny Jones sprinting out, throws the ball up. And they, uh, they get one of their defenders there for pass interference. That's Ray Kraft over there. And, our receivers, I think, has really improved. And here we run an isolation play with Gerald White. Offensive line's coming off the ball real well. The officials were really on top of the game yesterday, weren't they? They were. They were. It was a split crew, uh, you know, with the SEC and, and then the R League. Here's Timmy Jones running the option play. Cuts it up. Uh, Alabama's a really a physical football team. This is, a, I guess, is a field goal here we missed. That's one of the rare ones yeah. that he missed. We, you know, we moved the ball right down and got great field position and missed field goal. Here they run the full back and a little what we call a belly play. They bend it back and great pursuit there. Short yardage, Sutton getting the quarterback sneak there for a first down. The team just looks good, Coach. They really do. When they line yeah. up, they look good. Here a little pass that they had open two or three times, what we call a friend draw pass, and they're sending the tight end across and and our uh, corner was following the, the wide receiver in too much. Look at that pursuit. There's Corey Epps running the ball down. Nico Perkins chasing the football. Great play, great team football. Look at them right there, a whole group of them. That's, that's your gang tackling you, yes. you like so much. Sure is. And, you know, we played a lot of people yesterday on defense. Uh, the coaches had them running in and out. And this is a great play right here by Mike Nettles. You see they had two blockers out in front. And, might make a big play for us because they have a chance to go a long way on that particular play. Here we got great pursuit again. Here goes Kenny Duffy running to the football. Once again, we were really good yesterday in, uh, in short yardage situations. Chris, they, they were real good on lateral pursuit a few times too yesterday. Now, this is a bad play right here on Kenny Jones' part. He opened the wrong way and, he, you know, he made a mistake on that play. That wasn't the back fault, that was Timmy's fault. You know, now they get the ball down there in great field position. And now we play some great goal line defense. As you see, look at them coming up over the top of the pile there. That's the way you got to do. Those down linemen have got to get the great penetration. The linebackers got to come up over top. And here, we, you know, we're just playing an all-out run there. We're letting the receivers run free, and the uh, quarterback made a bad throw there. Big play here. Here, Mike Nettles, look at him turn the play in. Look at the pursuit coming across through there. I believe that was... Bowen there making that hit. A big play for us. Timmy Jones runs the option, makes a great pitch here, and uh, we get out of the hole down there. You know, offense did a great job. We had them, they had us backed up, and we bring the ball all the way out, and we got great field position. Wayne Pryor, with a little uh, naked boot, bootleg that we put in, he missed it there. And Andy, the first time we put him in there, you know, he throws an interception, and I have to give Andy with a lot of credit coming back after that playing good football. Had a blitz on there. Randall Cooper makes a great play in man to man coverage. You have another blitz on and there's Marlon Brown. Forced the quarterback to throw the ball early and that's over. Reggie Dubose making a big play for us. That's Make what that's what's called defense there. The right. Coach. You gotta have those big plays uh, whenever you're playing a team such as Alabama. Here's that tight end across again that 
I'm telling you that our corners were falling inside too much. Here, uh, what happened on that play, Marlon Brown was in part of the rush there, and he sees the back flare, and he plays screen instead of rushing the passer. We missed, we missed the tackle there. We were in man coverage once again, had a blitz on, and, and uh, the back, he catches the ball coming out of the backfield, breaks the tackle, and goes on in for the score, and Bam is up on us now, seven to nothing. They still know they're in the game at this point, though, that's right. for sure. This is where Andy comes in and running a two-minute offense right there up for halftime and has a guy downfield there and wide open, and they, they're called for pass interference. I thought it was a good call, too. And Andy does a good job here scrambling, you know. Gets out of bounds, and uh, yes. I don't know whether he had like five seconds or so uh -huh. there on the clock, uh -huh. and we kick a field goal, which is really, we go in at halftime, you know, four, seven to three, and it's, it was a really, a, a, you know, a high force right there. It really gives you some momentum, and I'm amazed at Whitwell. He, he comes in there, and he really uh, runs the two-minute offense great. Yeah, he's he, great. He sure did, and yesterday we put him in there, uh, you know, the fourth quarter, and he did a great job in there at that time. Well, I'm still excited, Coach, and I can't wait for the tape of the second half. We'll be back. Good evening, I'm Johnny Dark, along with Coach Charlie Bailey, and Coach, the team now, two and three, and really with a little luck, it could be even better than that, but with a win over Ole Miss and Alabama, we're two and two in the NCC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. You know, we went in a halftime, like I say, and our team was, uh, they were really charged up because kicking that field goal right there, and we talked about the things that we needed to do the second half, the coaches went in there, and, you know, we break up. Offensive coaches go, you know, as a group, and defensive coaches go as a group, and, we talk about, you know, the adjustments that need to be made, and, and uh, we made those adjustments, and the team came out, and, and uh, they had great confidence. They really did play with great confidence the second half. Now, I know you want us to know, I know at halftime, you thought you had a chance to win this game, didn't you? I really did, uh, you know, because we were playing such great defense. Well, here's the tape, and we'll watch this great second half, because this is where it all came down. Yes, uh, well, we returned the kickoff there, and, we get it back and pretty good field position. Here's uh we had a sweet play call and I don't know why Timmy didn't pitch the ball there on the uh, on the play, but we right away we end up there and uh, going backwards instead of forwards and uh, then we punt and better here. Ty Run look he did a great job there covering that kick and gets down there and great field position. Here's Humphrey he's faking the uh, the reverse running the sweep and uh, we come across and play that real well. Here we are, we go to what we call our, get them in long yard, and go to what we call our nickel defense, and we're playing man underneath coverage and rushing four people. What happened is if they send the back out of the backfield, and of course the linebacker is cover and then the quarterback scrambled, and then he got the first down. Here they're running that pressure there. sprint draw series, and get real good pressure there, and uh, forces them to throw a bad pass. And that's what you got to do. That great, a good pass rush is the best thing in Best pass defense there is. Look at us hitting that. All these guys running to the football. Look at that Reggie Dubos coming up there and making a great hit out of uh, whenever we're in our, what we call our robber type coverage there. Get him in a situation where he can come up and make some. That's a long field goal right there. So. Yeah, what is that? 52 yards. 52 yards, yes. Sir. That was a great mm -hmm. kick by Alabama. Here we're running the trap play with uh, Wayne Pryor. The trap was there all day long. That's where Wayne gained a lot of his yardage on the trap and also what we call the belly play. We run the option here, and Alabama has a great quickness and pursuit. And they run us down there. Here we're uh, trying a little option pass, and uh, they, they get called for interference here. We come back now, we're running uh, what we call our 30 series, the read series, and with Wayne running the football. Here was a great little play that uh, our coaches, Coach Dice, put in for this ball game, and they brought a fellow naked bootleg, and we sent the uh, full back out in the flat. Nobody's covering, and we make a big well, game. Worked to perfection, it really did. And here we're running what we call an end lead in there with Wayne running the football. And then we come back and we run a double lead, and uh, Gerald, he sticks it in there. I thought that officials were going to call us there because I thought there may have been a little movement there in it. I was scared there on the sideline <laughs> whenever that happened. Well, I know your stomach's got to be churning right now. The score's 10 to 10. And, it uh, is. We come down scoring, and our kids just got pumped. They really did. And uh, 
and they weren't going to be denied from that point on. Uh, the defense from that point on really, really played well. Here we run a little counter play with, uh, what was that, Gerald running the football? Yes. Now we're running up in the wishbone here, and we had a pass called, and the receiver wasn't there, and then Timmy pulls it down, and they hit it from behind. We were very, very fortunate on this, that uh, Gerald was over there hustling, we were able to recover that ball. Here they uh, <coughs> score on this play, but they call them for holding. They get a big, big break here. Let's put them back and watch this play here. They have a blitz on. Look, they're hitting the ball. Goes up in the air. Just and, oh, that's a halfback oh. running that football there. Look at him. Look at Greg Groff. He, he running just down that field. Right out of the air, didn't he? Oh, he sure did. Uh, you know, he'll, be, he'll want to play fullback now. Yeah. Gotta watch that. <laughs> Well, they show a little speed there trying right. to come back. There's Billy Moody running the, uh, running the play. Look, look, Gerald, he's trying to get everything he can get. Now we get field position, and here's Johnny kicked this field goal. Was it 47 yarder? 47 yarder. Great, great kick, and the Tigers go up in front. As you see, they're 13 to 10, and, and from this point on, our defense kind of dominates. There's Greg. He gets up the quarterback's face and forces him to throw a bad pass. Well, you got that hand in front of the quarterback's face, and he's not going to see those receivers, is he? Yeah, we have a little uh, blitz on, and well, they, well, they, we give him too much time to throw the football. We're very fortunate there. Now we're in a, another blitzing situation. This is what we call a double sally blitz. And uh, quarterback Sanders out there, and that was on a third down situation. And uh, now it's they have another blitz on, as you see here. You get a great, great play there. That's, that's, just, that's Young. just good pursuit there, Coach. And uh, that was on a fourth down play. We had a blitz on. There's Marlon Brown, second quarterback, but he was offside. He gives them one more play. This is it right here. Four man rushing throws it up in the air. And Randall Cooper back there makes the play. As you see, the ball game's over with. And it was a great, great win for us. Coach, I just, I, I'm just so excited, and like I say, 13 to 10, we, we beat Alabama, the team is coming on strong, the, the defense has shown so, so much immaturity, and at the first of the year, really, I know it had to be a little question mark in your mind as to what they were going to do, and they, they stopped Ole Miss uh, with a to go, they stopped Alabama uh, a couple of times yesterday, you've got to be proud of the progress these guys are making. Well, we're playing a lot of people, and I think that's important. Well, I, like I said, to me, I think it's a tremendous victory. And we're going to come back and let you, let you tell us what the Tiger Tamers are. How about that? <laughs>